everyone, this is Pat from Project Youth. This is our first video in our series of online beat making videos that we'll be posting on our YouTube channel each week. We will be using Waveform, a free digital audio workstation software that you can download from the internet. I will be online every Thursday between 5 p.m. and 6 p.m. to answer any questions about our beat making videos or any general questions you have about beat making or audio. Today we're going to be installing the Waveform software that we'll be using for these beat making videos. Waveform is a free digital audio workstation software that you can download from the internet and is 100% free and totally legal. Make sure you check out the description for links to free resources and our contact details if you need to get in touch. Let's get started. Okay, so open up your favorite web browser, whether it's Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, whatever you may be using, it doesn't matter, and go to your favorite uh, web browser, whether that's Google or Bing or whatever you choose and type in waveform in the search bar and hit search most searches i've done it's the first thing that comes up it's on a website tractor.com so if you click on that link it'll take you to the download page and just click on the free download button it will ask you to enter an email address and some details to download the software this will be the first in a series of times you will have to enter your email details. Um, it can get a little bit annoying, but considering we're not paying any money for this software, they're giving it to us for free. I don't think we can complain too much. So just click the submit button once you've finished all them details and they will send you a verification email. Now, if you go into your email address that you've used to set up this account, you can click on there and find the email that they have sent you to verify your email address. Once you've found the email, just click on the verify email tab and it will open up a new tab and say that you're ready to go. Um, you need to eat, enter a few more details. Nothing too personal, but I'm just sure this helps them um, see what demographic and who's using their software. Click Submit. And it should take you to a page to go to My Downloads. So just click on the My Downloads tab. Once again, you'll have to enter your email uh, your account details your email address and password so just punch them in really quickly and i always tick remember me sign in and then it will bring you to a window that's giving you options on what version of the software to install. So whether you're using Mac, Windows, Linux, or anything else, um, select the version that is for you. I'm gonna click on the Windows one since I'm using a Windows system here and gonna wait for that bad boy to download. Now once that's finished downloading, it should go to your downloads folder or your my downloads folder or whatever folder you've, you use as your default downloads folder. Have a look through there. I've got mine set up via date, so it always displays the newest stuff first. Um, so mine is right at the top there and we just want to double click on that to start the installation process. Okay, so once you double click on it, it should bring you to this window with license agreement and select I accept the agreement. You can read that, it's normal, normally a bunch of pretty standard stuff. Um, now from here out, we just need to kind of click next. Um, unless you want to change the destination, it's going to be saved or the name. Um, I always create a desktop icon just to help find the software easier. And then click next and it will start installing the software shouldn't take too long but once this is finished we've got a few more steps so once it comes up click finished and it will prompt you with a few more windows 
Okay, so from there it will take you to another waveform setup window. Uh, click agree. Once again, you can read through that, but it's pretty standard stuff. And it will finish the installation. Now, once again, you'll have to chuck in your email and password to register the software. So the, the email address you've used to set up and verify the software, punch them details in here and your password and then click register. From there, it will take you to some extra windows asking about the old and the new audio engine. I would select old. I've had no issue with the old engine and I haven't tried the new one, so I can't give any feedback, feedback on how that runs. Um, the, there's a few other little windows it will prompt you with, but if you just click your way through them, you will make your way to the sort of start page window. Now on this page, we just need to finish a few things and then we're pretty much ready to rock and roll. So there's a few options you can see along the side here that we need to tick off. So it's installed waveform. Now we're setting up the audio device. Most of this should default to be pretty standard and work from the get go, but you can just click on that audio setup set up audio device tab first go into downloads and just chuck your details in here now if there's any new updates or bits of software to add on to waveform they will come up here so you can check that regularly but for now let's just log in and leave that we want to go to audio setup this should default okay especially if you've got all ticks on here but just click click the test button and you should hear a test tone. If you're not hearing that, flick around with some of them devices there um, and see if you can get it going. If you have any trouble, please contact me. Um, make your way through these menu options. Set up MIDI devices shouldn't take long. Um, scan for plugins is just to find any extra plugins or virtual instruments on your system, which I don't imagine you will have. Um, and as for scan for loop, so just make your way through them pretty quickly and then go to download demo song. Now download demo song, there's a few different options there. I've just picked one by title, um, but these demo songs are good to check out in terms of how you can use the software and normally give you a few extra samples and things like that. Um, they're good to open up and have a fiddle and a play around with to see what other people have done using the software. One of the last menu options there is tutorial videos. If you click on that, it will take you to the Waveform YouTube channel. And there's a number of different tutorial videos there that are worth checking out. We will touch on a lot of these concepts throughout our videos, but they are definitely worth checking out and they go a little bit more in depth. Hopefully you've got the software installed okay without any problems. Check out our next video where we start making beats with Waveform. Check out the links in the description for resources or if you need to contact us about anything. Enjoy. Enjoy.